hey, I'm gonna show you how we took our closet from this and added a bunch more functional storage with a built-in dresser. We started by cleaning it all out and then adding a two by four frame on the wall at the height we wanted it. Um, we did this by securing the two by four into some studs and we built a frame the size and width of the dresser that we would be placing on top of it. Here we placed the dresser on top of it and added a few extra supports on the two by four frame and then secured the dresser to the frame. I also should mention that we did take the legs off of the dresser so that it would be flat and we did have to do a little cutting to make that happen. But we were able to do that and get it on and get all the dresser's drawers in. This was a little user error, but it worked out. And that is so much better. Okay, we lived with it like this for about a year. As you can see up there, the there are some clothes that hang below the top of the dresser. That was really annoying. So we got shorter laundry baskets to go underneath the dresser so that we could lower the whole thing. And so here I am lowering it, which was kind of a pain to uh, take apart the whole frame and lower it again, but it worked out okay. And so now it's a better height for the, for the length of our clothes hanging above it. So time to put the dresser back on again and went on pretty smooth. Next up, um, to make it look more built in, I wanted to trim out the edges with extra boards so there were no gaps and it would like go flush against the walls. So I had some spare boards that I cut to fill in the gaps and then used wood filler and caulk to finish all the edges and the seams. You want to use wood filler across boards that are flush with each other, and then you would use caulk along gaps between uneven boards or like between the wall and the board. I tried out this paint additive that is supposed to make it level out better and not show brush strokes. And it's supposed to also go on, like adhere to surfaces easier but you add eight ounces for a gallon. So here I am portioning it out and then you mix it up. I saw this little hack for avoiding using a paint stir stick and I'd say it mixes it pretty good. Now it's time for the fun part, adding the paint where it actually makes a huge difference and so it's kind of fun to watch it all come together here. This green frog tape works really well. Um, I didn't do anything extra and most of the edges were really crisp. I also was updating the hardware on the drawers, so I took all the knobs out and filled the holes with wood filler so that they would not show up. For the new hardware, I made a little template to make the marks in the middle of each drawer and then just screwed them in and look at what a difference that all made.